ています。Hello and welcome to this video. This is another video on the Rogozin variation of the Queen's Gambit, and this time we need to examine an early queen check on a4. So let's start. We um start with the usual moves to lead to the Rogozin. And um in this chapter we look at Queen A4 check. This idea is frequently seen. Um, many uh, moves like here it's the earliest possible on move five but we have already seen this idea with the white having traded on d5 first or having played bishop g5 first and then queen a4 there are a number of transpositions for example i mean we have to play knight c6 we can put that on the board for example after knight c6, white may still play c takes d5 or bishop g5, and then we will have um, a quick transposition to earlier chapters. Um, let's have a quick look at this just to make sure that we are on the same page. After this, we get to um, an earlier chapter where white captures first and then gives the check. This is an important line. I think it happens quite frequently. Um, White also may play bishop g5, after which we play h6, and then we also transpose this time to the very first chapter in the course, which deals with bishop g5 on the fifth move. So here white can take, we take with the queen, and we have transposed. The same happens after bishop h4, after we take, of course, and this is a line known to be very okay for us as we know from the first chapter that bishop h4 is not a good reply to the early bishop g5. So these um, transpositions don't worry us at all. White most of the time now plays the move e3. This makes a lot of sense as the capture on c4 is something that white has to think about and e3 covers the pawn. Um, we should talk a little bit about general strategy here for black. How do we handle this position? Um, with the knight on c6, it's pretty clear that we have a hard time to get c5 in. This would be a natural way to attack the white center, but this is difficult now. It's still not impossible. In some lines, we will see that we will move the knight and c5 still happens, but it's not something that is easily accomplished. Um, what we will do instead is to focus on a different way of developing our game and that is with the move e5. We would like to play this to open up the bishop and the main way to accomplish this in this line is to later withdraw the bishop to d6 and play e5. The issue with bishop d6 um, can be that white pushes c5. This is very annoying so we will often or basically all of the time if we go for e5, take on c4 first. So our idea would be to capture on c4, play bishop d6, then play e5. We would see that this is the standard way of handling this line. Now, um, e3 is, as mentioned, the main move, but white can try some other moves that we should check. Um, the move bishop d2 is sometimes seen breaking the pin and still having maybe e3 in mind later. There is a drawback of this move and you can probably already guess what the drawback is. It is that we can take on c4. This is um, a good moment to do it because white does not easily recover this pawn. He has to go through some length to actually manage. Um, e3 makes a lot of sense to get this idea in. We play bishop d7 and this is something that is uh, very commonly seen against the queen on a4. We are now threatening the discovered attack knight takes d4. So there is just um, no alternative for white than to withdraw the queen. He has to move the queen again. So this queen check is kind of a double-edged sword for white. It gains um, a little bit of let's say strategic um it has a strategic gain as the knight on c6 can be a tricky um it can be a tricky pose for the knight but the queen loses a lot of time now what are we doing here um 
Black here has, I think, a very a good way of handling this position. And this is to play knight to a5. Simply trying to make use of the knight. This is often what you have to do. If you have a piece that is not perfectly placed, think about what upside this currently not ideal post has. And here, knight a5 is indeed a good idea. We cover this pawn and ask white about um, his intentions, how to recover it. Um, knight e5 is a very obvious move now and will probably be played. If something slow happens, like bishop e2, we will carry out the c5 push, something that I talked about earlier. It's still not completely off the map. Um, a line like this looks very comfortable. The knight is still covering the pawn and very likely um, in some sequence will be traded after white has taken on c4. Here we have no problem at all. We have an easy, easy way to... This was a free preview of our anti-1d4 course based on the Nimzu Indian and Rogozin, available on chessable.com. Thanks for watching and see you soon.